And? Are you paying close attention? I sure am. I should hope so. Otherwise, you'll never understand how did, um... How to look at an object. But I already know that. I point at it with my mouse cursor and right-click when the eye icon appears. Well, that was easy. But the thing that you don't know yet is... How to end a dialogue. You click on the last option in the menu? <laughs> completely wrong. I thought you were going to look at that thing on the floor. I can see it. It's lying there. I meant look at it more closely. Just point at it and right-click when you see the eye on the cursor. What's that? It's the reactor lead head. But it was a cathode plunger in the last game. It's the lead head, believe me. You need it to repair the press. And how exactly am I going to do that if I can't even pick the thing up? Sure you can pick it up. Just point at it with the mouse to make the hand icon appear. Then left click to pick it up. Oh no, this has to be easier. <sighs> Huh? Where'd it go? <laughs> you put it in your inventory. You know, where all your items go. You pick the thing up. Now click on the handle in the upper right corner to open the inventory. Hey, there it is. Exactly. Now this is your inventory. I knew that. Here you can view all the stuff you're lugging around. You remember how to do that, don't you? What am I supposed to do with this? Looks like a broken spare part. Well, then watch me fix it. And? Any luck combining them? I'm working on it. Click on one of the two items with the hand icon to attach it to your mouse pointer. Then click on the other item to combine them. I was just about to do that. Look here, Bozo. I fixed the part. I won't believe that until I see it in operation. I know. My handyman skills are really incredible. When you're ready, you need to. No prompting! Whatever. Look here, Bozo. I fixed the p I won't believe I know. <laughs> it fits. Next you need to. Hey, you don't have to spoon feed me. I'll manage the rest. Whatever. When you're ready, you need to. Hold your horses, will ya? It's just a button. I think I can manage without your help. Rufus, don't! You're standing right under the- Don't panic! You don't think I'd fall for the same feeble gag twice. So, uh, what was that again? I pushed this button here, and then... Didn't look all that feeble to me. They came out of nowhere. With their cruisers, plasma weapons, and mechanical beards. Organized. They took our village by force. They left nothing behind but tears and devastation. They were looking for gold. And Elysium. The girl that fell from the sky. And only one person was prepared to save her. He woke her up. Contacted her fiancé. And took her to the Lower Ascension Station. Only to learn the shocking truth once he got there. Cletus, Gold's fiancé, wasn't acting out of love. He had an agreement. With Ulysses the mysterious leader of the Organon. And Argus, his right hand. 
They needed the ascension codes, hidden away in Gold's brain implant, and they wanted to erase her memory. They wanted to make sure no Elysian would ever know that our world is inhabited. For their goal was terrible beyond imagination. They wanted to blow up our world. But they had failed to reckon with the one. He swapped the cartridges. And he restored Gold's memory so that she could bear the truth to Elysium. The name of this one man, this selfless hero, was... Um, that wasn't the whole story, was it? That was the first part. I think it's going to be a trilogy. Sounds a bit unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievably cool. But if it really all happened like that, shouldn't I be on my way to Elysium with Cletus? So what are you doing here? Where is Cletus? Why am I unable to remember any of this? And forgive me for asking, but... Why is there a burning saw blade stuck in the side of the ship? Oh, uh, that. Oh, well, I was about to get to that part. So listen up. You're being pathetic. Again about accurate bacteria in the fridge, it's getting boring But packing bags due to the tea socks I threw to Clamshade's rim order, some anodons gone Then I explicated, are you still not persuaded? The scratch growing on your time panic membrane Remember to pull yourself, sacrifices and oh gosh Now have to start all over again Start all over again Trash. Trash. And more trash. Isn't it adorable? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Hard to imagine I ever wanted to leave here. Ah, Rufus. This is the lad I was telling you about. What? Him? From what you told me, I had imagined a smart young man, not a filthy bum. There's more to him than meets the eye. When I first met him, Rufus was still a... How shall I put this? Just say it. I was a self-indulgent slob, but I'm steadily improving. That's right. Right now, for example, he is helping Bozo to get the trawler shipshape. So I am. I was going to ask you whether I can borrow your hammer. No problem. You can take it from my toolbox over there. Thanks, Doc. You're the best. I still don't know, really. Something just doesn't seem right about that boy. But, Grandma Utz, whatever are you talking about? Hmm. Aren't you worried he might steal something? I trust him completely. Didn't you tell me that he suffers from an exaggerated opinion of himself? Those days are over. Rufus has learned a lot. He is much more careful than before. Rufus seems like a brutal thug to me. 
Rufus, brutal. <laughs> Never. And if he has to use the toilet, then he can do that on the trawler. Of course, Grandma. It's just that I have hardly any water left. He's just getting a hammer. I hope your young friend doesn't get too close to my John Thomas. The poor thing is so small and fragile. Don't worry. The Rufus I know loves animals. He wouldn't harm the pretty little head of your John Thomas. All I'm saying is that he seems very clumsy. Your fears are completely groundless. Rufus has become very careful since his last adventure. What if he suddenly blows a fuse? Believe me, those days are over. If that's all true, then he must have turned himself around 180 degrees. That's how it is. As if someone installed a power inverter in him. And he shouldn't give John Thomas too much to drink under any circumstances. Well... If that's all you're worried about. Something like that can kill a little bird. Rufus isn't going to drown your bird by accident. He would ask before he used my water supply, wouldn't he? Absolutely. Good. Good. I have to get by on what I have until the end of the month. Perhaps I'm worrying unnecessarily. After all, John Thomas is very good at self-defense. Oh, Grandma Oots, as if that would be at all necessary. What if he suddenly blow? What if he? Believe me, those days are over. May I interrupt for a moment? Of course. Did you find the hammer? Well, not exactly. It's in my tool chest. You're welcome to take it, as long as you promise not to wreak havoc. <laughs> not me. May I interrupt for a moment? Of course. Did you find the ham? Well, it's in my tool. You're welcome to take it, as long as you promise not to wreak havoc. <laughs> not me. May I interrupt for? Of course. Did you find? Well, it's in my. You're welcome to take it, as long as you promise. <laughs> not me.
I just hope he doesn't turn my whole house upside down. He's just getting a hammer. How much damage could he possibly do? Can a person really change so... It's very simple. Once burned, twice shy. And Rufus has burned his fingers more than once. He has learned. I would... <laughs> bet the house on it. have me convinced, but there is one thing that still worries me. He had better not clog my garbage disposal. The blades are so sharp. Things are always getting caught in there. Oh, Grandma. You worry about the silliest things. If you Promise me that he will be careful, then everything is all right. Just as long as nothing happens to my John Thomas. Promise. Hmm. Then I should apologize. I suppose your Rufus really must have improved. Well, what do you know? Here it is. Have you found it at last? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. It certainly took you long enough. I hope you didn't leave a mess. Me? No way. But enough chit-chat. Bozo's waiting. Just relax, Rufus. It's not like anything's on fire. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. By the way, what's that funky smell? Rufus, have you gone completely off the deep end? You almost set Grandma Utz's heart on fire. All for a good cause. You committing suicide? No, I'm traveling to Elysium. But Rufus, we've been through all that. I thought you would finally become reasonable. Become reasonable? I am reasonable. And that's exactly why my plan is gonna work this time. What plan are you talking about? Well, what does it look like? It looks like a madman's attempt to refute the principle of action and reaction. Close enough. Goodness gracious me. As soon as I step on these bellows, the cork will hit the three targets one by one. In a spectacular chain reaction, this will cause the rockets to be lit and the safety rope to be cut. I have calculated everything. Just watch and learn. Oh, and keep away from the falling blade if you want to hold on to your fingers. Take a good look. Rufus, no! Doc. Uh-oh. Doc, that's not a good place for a nap. The Bunsen burner could boil away the water in the vase any minute. And when the scales pan goes up, it will trigger the guillotine. The fuse is already lit. Doc, are you listening? Wake up! Oh, what a bummer. Save Doc or go to Elysium. Save Doc or go to Elysium. Darn it. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Doc. Doc! Are you listening? Wake up! Oh, what a bummer. Huh. Doc really picked a great spot to fall unconscious. I have to find some way to get him away from there before the water boils away. The Bunsen burner is bringing the water to a boil. I have to hurry. Otherwise, the scale will trigger the guillotine. The Bunsen burner is bringing the water to a boil. I have to hurry. That should have worked. I calculated the angle of ricochet exactly. And by calculated, I mean I saw it in my favorite cartoon. 
Huh. The gas from the bottle is being blown toward the flames. Unfortunately, it isn't enough to light the gas. Too bad. That would be a cool party trick. I think I can reach it. Oh, not quite. Must be because of the wind. Actually, it should have held. Light the fireworks as soon as the saw blade is in the air. Then, they will create enough spin to catapult me directly to Elysium. At the halfway point, eagles will start to fly alongside me if my sketch is correct. Huh. The gas from the bottle is being blown toward the flames. Unfortunately, it isn't enough to light the gas. Too bad. That would be a cool party trick. Nope. My breath isn't enough to blow the gas into the flame. Too bad. That would be a cool party trick. I think there's a gas leak. Unfortunately, I don't have a match to test it. Huh. Doc really picked a great spot to fall unconscious. I have to find some way to... And... Whoop! Oof! Perfect body control, as always. Very clever. I'll simply solve the problem through a process of elimination. Doc will be proud of me if he isn't decapitated in the next few seconds. Very clever. I'll simply... Doc will be proud of me. It... It's already broken enough. I could hit that with a well-aimed toss, but that would just trigger the guillotine. And somehow, I doubt that Doc would still be in the mood for thunderous applause. I could hit that with a well-aimed toss, but that would just trigger... And somehow, I... Very clever. I'll simply solve the... Doc will be proud of... If he isn't decapitated. <laughs> that shouldn't affect the flight characteristics of the saw blade, should it? <laughs> that tickles. With the right momentum, I could catapult the black powder into the air intake of the bellows. Easy and totally realistic. If the black powder reaches the flames, it could ignite the gas. And then, hmm, there's bound to be an interesting chain reaction whose outcome is very difficult to predict. What am I waiting for? It worked! I saved Doc! <laughs> Whoa! 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 Rufus, Rufus. Huh? What? You haven't answered my question. How did you get here? I just don't understand. That's because there is nothing to understand. The whole story is nothing but one big filthy lie. Almost as filthy as Rufus, but not quite. Cletus? Of course it's Cletus. Why would that surprise you? I am not the one who barged in here uninvited. 
I have come to save my planet. Well done, moron. Gole and I had reached an agreement. I was trying to keep the existence of the Deponians a secret from the Council of Elders so that Deponia could be exploded, but Gole convinced me to tell the truth. We were just about to save Deponia. The escape pod was taking us to Elysium. Now it's useless. We're not going to make it to Elysium, and the Council of Elders will never learn about the Deponians. Bravo, Rufus. That was a stroke of genius. Don't listen to him, Gaul. He's lying through his teeth. I don't know. His version does sound pretty convincing. Now, remember, he's lied to you before. The Gaul that I know would never have let him get away with it. That's because you only know one part of Gaul. The part that is naive and idealistic. The Gaul that I know is a fighter who will stand up for what she believes in. But there is a third part as well. And that part sides with me. Isn't that true, Gole? There is no third part. You tell him, Gole. I... I just don't know. I, I can't remember a thing. Of course you can't. Thanks to this flea bag's brilliant intervention, your brain implant has been damaged. It's a habit of his. I I'll fix it. Don't worry. You still don't get it, do you? We have no use for you here. If you really want to help gold, then jump. We're directly over the ocean. With a little luck, you may even survive the fall. No! No, this isn't right! Oh, come on. Do what is best for gold. I won't let that underhanded traitor take gold to Elysium. Oh, come on. Do what is... That looks like an ejector seat. Huh. There's still dust on the label. A shrink ray. <laughs> That's even better than an injector seat. I'm what's best for goal. No, don't! Ha! Uh, nothing. Why? I wonder if... Uh-oh! No! Goal! You idiot! Goal! No, 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 no! You blasted idiot! Kratos, help me! Hang on! Don't panic! I'll come and get you! Somehow! Do you finally realize the damage you're doing? Kratos! Don't panic! I'll get you! Why don't I do everyone a favor and kill you right here? I'm coming, Gaul! Hang in there! Where do you think you're going? I'm on my way! Watch out! The rope's going to break at any moment! What are you doing? Did you really think you could get away like that? Say bye-bye, Rufus. Cletus, no! Cletus! Ah! 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 Oh dear, what have I done? I still can't believe he really did that. No need to worry, really. He's just like a wombat. He often falls. But he always lands on all, uh, um, all the others. I know. What is that noise? Ah! What the? Goal? Ah, uh, don't be silly. If that were goal, the next we could expect. Ah! Rufus? Rufus. Ouch. Everything's ready for detonation, Bailiff. Acknowledged, Chief Blaster. Anything else? Are there no new instructions? We can start the countdown now. I appreciate your eagerness, but this is not a training maneuver. This is about destroying the zone around the Rust Red Sea, before we blow up the entire planet. I see, Bailiff. Stop! Interrupting me! I know very well what is at stake here. Do you think I wasn't aware of all the implications? It is true. 
Inspector Cletus has not yet reached Elysium. We can only guess what kept him, but as long as there is still hope that he will complete his task, we need not worry. Until then, I don't want to hear about any countdowns. Do you understand? Yes, I do, Bailey. Cletus is going to succeed. He will convince the Council of Elders that there is no sentient life on Deponia. And, if he should fail, then we shall see to it that the planet is indeed uninhabited. Uh, dismissed! I have too many worries of my own to deal with your moral misgivings, so get out! Out, I say! Y uh, yes, sir. Where the devil is Cletus? The most epic tales feature cool depictions <coughs> of saw blades crushed into cable boat walls. The attempt is all blunt stunt, affected goals and planned, which surely can't be blamed on Rufus at all. Reckoning up the sun, the best was yet to come. For the end of part one seemed a little too coarse, and to amend we'll send him to attend a second chance for a decent happy end of the grand fling with dancing and boots and so forth. with boots and so forth. I think I ought to fire my chiropractor. Doc? <laughs>